live on location. I'm Pastor Daryl Mason, Pastor of Spirit of Christ Ministries. And today we just want to thank God for giving us another beautiful day. Uh, today I wasn't at our home church, but I was world outreach today in Wilmington, Delaware, where the pastors are Pastor Tom and Barb Davis. Uh, and I want to spend thank you to them for having us to come and share with you to their staff. And how the seed was sown, and the sower being God. So we came out of that, it was in the book of Luke. So anyway, what we talked about was a container, a receiver, and a producer. The scripture talks about how the sower came sowed seed, he sowed seed on good ground, hard ground, ground, different types of ground, where the word was choked, where the word was stolen, and then it talks about also where the word was produced, and it produced fruit. <laughs> Excuse us. So, anyway, what was God saying to us today? Is he was saying, don't be a container. Now, though there is a season where you do have to be a container, you got to, first of all, you got to receive the word, of course. So we know we receive, and then we contain the word because we have to allow the word to have its place in our life and work in our spirits and in the midst of our hearts. So once we become a receiver and a container, now we've got to become a producer. A producer of the word doesn't just hold the word, doesn't just receive the word, but it takes forth and it brings forth fruit. Bearing fruit is so important to the Christian life. Bearing fruit is so important to our, our walk with God. God wants to not just give us an awesome word, but he wants us to produce from that word that he's given us, whether it be prophetic, whether it be biblical, whatever the word is that God gave you, God just doesn't want you to sit there and say, that was a good word. I received that. I received that. I received that. But now we have to say, Lord, what is it that you want me to do with this word? I received it. I contained it. Now, how can I bring forth production? How can I bring forth fruit in the midst of this season that I'm in? And the, the fruit can be anything. The fruit can be many different levels. You can be fruitful in love. You can bring forth fruit in, your, in the spirit. You can bring forth fruit in evangelism. You can bring forth fruit in your family, in your marriage, in your job, in your career, in your dreams. Whatever. What is it that God is wanting you to bring forth fruit in? In your ministry? He says that now when they brought forth fruit, they brought it forth some 60, some 40, some 100 fold. So God wants a return from what he is giving us in the midst of our spirits and in the midst of our hearts. So we can't be a container always. We can't be a receiver always, but we have to be a producer. What is a producer? A producer is anything, a person, a group that brings forth a effect, brings forth some type of production or fruit of what they're working on. And that's what God is causing us to be. Because guess what? When we bear forth fruit, the Bible also says that our fruit should remain in the book of John. So what is that fruit remaining? For instance, I myself, I'm somebody's fruit remaining. Minister Coleman, he's somebody's fruit remaining. What do you mean, Pastor Nation? Okay, say for instance, somebody witnessed to me and they shared Christ with me. Now I got saved. Now I'm living for God. That's their fruit remaining. You know, one of the, one of the divisions of their fruit remaining. So people of God, I just really want to encourage you today to understand that God says, I've got great things in store for you, but you can't move forward until you start producing fruit. It's no good to have it just holding, because when you hold something for too long, it starts to get rotten, it starts to get old, it starts to get bad. But God says, produce from what I have given you. I've given you a word, I've given you a call, I've given you a commission, I've given you a job, I've given you a gift, I've given you all these wonderful things, Bring forth fruit. Share with somebody else. Somebody needs what you have for them. Jesus cursed the fig tree because the fig tree did not bear any fruit. The fig tree looked like it was be about to be fruitful, and it looked like it was in good shape, but Jesus said it didn't bring forth any fruit. And that's what happens sometimes in the body of Christ. We look like we're about to bring forth fruit. We look like we're about to do something. But God said, no longer are we about to do. He said, do it, because he's bringing us into a season where the doing and the fruitfulness is going to bring us into our place of promise, our place of destiny. So people of God, be encouraged. If you are a container, move to the next level. If you're a, if you're a receiver, move to the next level. Bear forth fruit. Some of us know what it is that God is telling us to do. 
Step out on faith. Move in it. Faith is the substance of things that is hoped for, the evidence of things that are not seen. Sometimes when God is calling you, you can't quite see it the way God sees it. But if you step out on faith and move into that realm, you'll begin to see it come together. Why? Because you're producing and bearing. People of God, we love you. Have a blessed day today. If you want to send us an email or send us a letter or anything, you can go to spiritofchristministries.net. Uh, we're also on Facebook. Uh, send us an email. Send us a letter just to encourage us or a prayer request or anything or any questions that you may have. Uh, contact us. Let us know. We love you. Have a blessed and wonderful week. On behalf of Minister Coleman and myself, this is Live on Location. Make an impact, no matter how big or small, an impact with God is an impact.